Hi, this is Xiaohui Liu here, and uh, I'm the founder and uh, CEO of Ascript. Ascript is a company that provides smart contract solutions on exclusively on Bitcoin SV. So for different blockchains, right? Not the most, but one of the most features, usually people look at the uh, blockchain is, uh, do they have this smart contract capability? So, you know, we're at the Bitcoin SV, you know, it has the smart contract capability since day one, meaning when it's the first launch, in 2009, but the problem is, it's almost impossible to develop a smart contract, anything that's a little bit of a sophisticated. So for Ascript, we provide the programming language and also all the tools like uh, uh, IDs and also a web interface to help developers to easily develop smart contract, even very complicated ones on Bitcoin SV. The objective is to make it as simple as programming any so-called Web2 applications. We are announcing something, I think it's a revolutionary and uh, fundamentally very necessary for the Bitcoin to go from some niche ecosystem to mainstream. Namely, we're providing the so-called uh, you know, full suite, full stack developer platform in addition to the previous you know, smart contract standalone solutions we have. So before, we have the script which enables developers, even from Web2, to directly come into Bitcoin space and start coding a language called TypeScript, so which is like a close sibling of JavaScript, which is the most popular programming language in the world. We have about 25 million developers worldwide that are already familiar with it, so they don't have to go learn something like do either Solidity or Move, which is kind of esoteric, and it's very difficult to learn. I think it's the most potent framework to write smart contract in the, not only in BSV space, but also across the whole you know, blockchain space, because you can just pretty much write it in JavaScript. So what we are launching now is, you can think about it, it's a natural extension of that. It's a full suite, full stack developer platform. Not only you have a smart contract platform, a smart contract piece, but also you have the vertically integrated uh, suite of tools. I think this is a key missing piece that is absolutely necessary for this space to take over the, the mainstream audience. Because unless you have the good tools and developer tools and infrastructure, the apps is just taking too long to be built. And then as a result, you know, we don't have as much experiments on Bitcoin versus let's say iOS, right? You can build all kinds of apps. And if it somehow, if it takes a year to build versus take like a week to build, the, the face of innovation is completely different. I think this is going to be the major missing piece that's going to enable Bitcoin to become much more adopted. You know, here we just offer the, the infrastructure, the, the tools, and it's up to the developers to come up with all kinds of novel ideas that's only doable on Bitcoin. You know, for example, build uh, some kind of contracts that can enable the games that can play fully on chain, right? There's no centralized servers, it never goes down, and nobody can take, for example, your game character away, and it's fully transparent. So this just enables new kinds of games, invisible before, while you can do it fully on chain, on, on Bitcoin. If you look at all the past technologies, right? Gaming is almost the number one, or sometimes the number two area to adopt the new technology and make it mainstream. So besides uh, gaming, I think uh, some other very unique use cases also can happen. For example, you talk about bounties, right? So for any kind of a computation, because computer at the end of the day is just doing some computation. You know, for all the, you're renting the servers, either you know, physical servers or some virtual machines or some cloud, all those, you know, and you hire developers, all the, at the end, you only care about the computational result. So the Bitcoin is the only way that can through the usage of smart contract, you can have a contract saying, hey, you only get paid by solving this problem. And uh, because the miner is going to check this on chain, so nobody can cheat, right? You either have the solution and get paid, or neither happens, so nobody can cheat. We have this developer form, and now we are spending a lot of our time and energy to educate the public and to let more people know about this. We also have a lot of uh, educational material out there. So two aspects, one is to active outreach to organize events. We also have a YouTube series basically to show you how to code full stack applications. Let's say some kind of voting or to-do list fully on chain. We are going to release this new series 
maybe every time is a one hour to one hour and a half to show you, to walk through. You can actually develop thanks to the powerful tools we have. You can actually code a full end-to-end, uh, -end, full stack app within, uh, let's say, a day or uh, even a weekend. Besides that, you know, we also have very active community. We have our Slack group. We're also active at the Ascript uh, channel at uh, BSV Discord. So uh, at the last uh, conference at Dubai, we released this uh, powerful tool called Transpiler. So the basic idea is, you know, we already have a lot of people invested, you know, in alternative uh, blockchains such as Ethereum. They code the contract and the application using Transpiler uh, Solidity. So this tool is going to help them if they, any of them because of the scalability or privacy issues uh, performance, they cannot do the, the business on Ethereum or EVM compatible chains. They can use this as a bridge to hop over to the Bitcoin world. So it also works very simply. Basically, we have a website called transpiler.bitcoinsv.com. So you go there, you paste your solidity code, and one click, you are going to translate it to the script code. And uh, we are a little bit of outdated because the latest upgrade, we kind of deprecate the old script, which is its own standalone language. Now we are upgrading to be based in TypeScript. So, you know, stay tuned. I think we are also going to upgrade the transpiler to now to convert to the latest TypeScript based script as well. Last year, we also spent a lot of energy on this very hot topic called zero knowledge proof. So for people who have not heard about this, the zero knowledge proof is almost like a moon math or some kind of a magic cryptography that let, lets somebody prove you know, Alice, pro let's say, prove something. She has some knowledge about secret X without telling Bob the, the secret X itself. So Bob still can be convinced. Yeah, sounds impossible at, at the beginning, but uh, you know, that's the magic of cryptography. You can actually use this. So zero knowledge, why I think we spend a lot of time because it has a lot of implications and use cases in, in Bitcoin, especially in smart contract platform. For smart contract because it's fully on chain and it's public, so a lot of time you may not want to expose all the information, right? For example, let's say we want to play some kind of like on chain poker, right? So poker is different from let's say chess because it's a so-called uh, you know incomplete information game. Because if Alice is playing with Bob, Alice you don't want to Alice to know all the cards with Bob or Bob vice versa right? or know what's under the deck. You don't want that to get exposed. Then zero knowledge is the only way that uh, you can validate all the rules is being followed. You know, nobody is double counting. Uh, no, so you don't have uh, double cards. You are not spent using cards you don't have. So you can validate all the logic of the contract without exposing all the private data. For example, what cards Bob has. This enables new kind of contract that's previous thought was impossible. Basically, you can have contracts that can validate, you know, uh, logic of your app without disclosing the private data.